Hello everybody, I'm Adrian and here I am at the junkyard. I was looking to see what kind of parts I can find. So that's in this one. I got the chrome of the windshield that it was a pretty good shape. And then that's also the one I got the housing for the steering wheel. So I got my the steering wheel play fixed. Checking out the six cylinder because my pickup truck has a six cylinder and I was just looking at the idea if I put a turbo I've seen some people um, put turbos on them so that'd be another idea just checking out the manifold set up there so here's the F250 I got that 351 from I'm surprised it's still here but uh, yeah, there's pretty much everything out of it. So I left the transmission, but it looks like somebody took out the pump. So I'm gonna talk about how I was able to get this engine out in two hours. Now I was here for three hours total. That's from the time I got here and they loaded it to my truck. But in two hours time, I had this engine out. So one of the first things I did is uh, before I came here, I kind of studied it up. So I already knew where I was gonna hook up my chain. I already knew how I was gonna approach getting the bell housing bolts out. So those were 16 millimeters. So I wanted to have an idea of how I was going to do it, what wires I had to cut. So I just came in here, saw this off to give me room. I didn't destroy the radiator or condenser or nothing. I just cut the lines and put them back at the bed of the truck which I believe yeah there's the condenser still there see I didn't even break the grill so just in case somebody needed those parts and uh, just started coming in here and chopping wires but yeah the biggest thing is already knowing how to approach it have a game plan and then another thing that helped me out a lot is i just disconnected the main harness so this was the engine harness just a single connection so and then i just laid over my engine harness so i didn't have to unplug any connectors just one single plug there um my ground for my battery i probably should have kept that i mean it was just like right there but since i was in a rush yeah would have been a good idea to just keep that wire the exhaust I another important thing that I did when I came in here the first thing I did is soak them down with penetrating oil and then by the time I was ready to pull my exhaust those bolts came right out also I did take the hood out so I just unbolted it right here moved it out back that way I was able to get up in there and plus when hooked it up they forklifted it that way it didn't intervene but yeah that that made the difference so yeah I know like pulling an engine out here would be very difficult but the good thing is they'll move it into a different location where it'll be on blocks and make it uh make it easy for me to get to it so yeah, they'll set them up on this block. So gotta have a piece of cardboard. So yeah, this one's our hard to come by now, the 351. So when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. So I had to make time. And that's why I only had like four hours to work with. So that's why I tried to get it out as soon as I was able to. Because ever since then, even out of all the other junkyards that I've been to, I have not seen another 351 engine. So they're just getting really hard to find. And also mine was in complete shape. So like this one, it's already been torn down. We got a lot, a lot of other engines. See, like here's a 5.0. It's already got a lot of parts missing. Water's been running down in there. 
so that, that engine's no good.